This video is an overview for the Timekeeper Max and the Timekeeper Web Interface. The Timekeeper Max is a DMX controller. There is a built-in astronomical time clock for timed events, and with the ability to add a web interface, lighting systems can now be remotely monitored and programmed on the fly. The Timekeeper Max can control 192 relays, 72 dimmers, and 96 stations or smart switches. The Timekeeper has the ability to program 72 scenes, 64 events, 64 holiday events, and 48 sequences. Now let's review the termination points for the Timekeeper Max and the web interface, and also go over the connectors that we'll be using. First, the connectors. We'll be using a standard Cat5 patch cable. A DB9 male to female extension cable, a three position male Phoenix connector, a two position male Phoenix connector, and a 2.1 millimeter input jack for the web interface. There are seven terminations at the top of the timekeeper and one at the bottom. The first two positions are for the panel to panel RS45 network. The first RJ45 just takes the standard Cat5 patch cable and passes both power and communication through. The second position is for the three position male Phoenix connector. The first terminal is for the ground of the shield. The second terminal is for the minus third terminal is for the plus. Again, positions one and two are for the panel-to-panel -panel RS-45 network. The next two positions are for the RS-232 communication. Position one here is for the ground of the shield. Position two is for the minus. Position three is for the plus. The next position over is where the DB9 cable will get plugged in. The other end of the, of the DB9 will get plugged in to the Timekeeper web interface. Again, these two positions are for the RS-232 serial communications. The last three positions on the Timekeeper are for the smart switch RS-45 network. Again, Using the three position male Phoenix connector, terminal one will be for the ground or the shield, terminal two will be for the minus, and the last terminal here will be for the plus. The two RJ45 jacks will take the standard Cat5 patch cable and will both pass power and communication through. Again, these three terminations here are for the smart switch RS-45 network. Using the two-position Phoenix connector, there's a 24-volt AC or DC input at the bottom of the timekeeper. This input is not polarity sensitive. Now let's review the terminations for the timekeeper web interface. The power input so on the top, this is a 12 to 24 volt DC input. The inside of the input jack is the positive and the outer shell is the negative. The RJ45 is for the ethernet. There are two serial ports at the bottom. The serial port to the left is for the Timekeeper 2 wire. The serial port to the right is for the Timekeeper Max. Since we will be using a Timekeeper Max, we will use the Timekeeper Max serial port on the Timekeeper web interface. Now let's review the indicators for the Timekeeper Max and the Timekeeper web interface. First indicator is for the panel to panel RS-45 communication. This LED indicator should always be flashing on and off when the Timekeeper is powered up. 
The next LED indicator is for the RS-232 input and output messages. The timekeeper is sending output messages. This LED should flash green. When the timekeeper is receiving input messages, this LED should flash red. The next LED is for the smart switch button presses. Anytime a button is pressed, this LED indicator flashes green. And the last LED indicator on the Timekeeper Max is the heartbeat. When the Timekeeper Max is powered up, the heartbeat will flash, be flashing on and off. At the top of the Timekeeper web interface, there's an indicator for the power. And on the Ethernet port, there's indicators for the network speed and an indicator for the data activity. For information on programming the Timekeeper or setting up the web interface, be sure to check out part two of this video. Or for more product information, be sure to check us out on our website at touchplate.com.